This video is about parallel and perpendicular lines. A parallel line, parallel lines, are any lines with the same gradient. So if they've got the same gradient, they're going in the same direction, uh, they're parallel lines. Perpendicular lines are at a right angle, so um, they meet at a 90 degree angle. Let's try and have a look at what a perpendicular line would look like. Let's try and draw it on first. So it looks something like that. So you see the original line here has got a gradient of for every one it goes across, it goes down two. So the original line here has got a gradient of minus two. So any parallel line, any parallel line is also going to have a gradient of minus two. So it can be anywhere on on the graph, but as long as it's got a gradient of minus two, doesn't matter where it goes, it's going to be a parallel line. So let's draw it over there. The perpendicular lines have got a kind of do the opposite thing. So if this one goes along one down two, this one's got to go across two and up one. So it's got to do the opposite thing. So and that's the only way it's going to meet at a 90 degree angle. So what's the gradient of this perpendicular line? So for every one it goes across, it goes up half. It goes across two, up one. That means across one, up half. So the gradient of the perpendicular line is a half. And what we're going to find is this relationship between the parallel and perpendicular gradients. Uh, they multiply, so gradients multiply to give minus one multiply to equal minus one so the parallel the the original gradient multiplied by the perpendicular gradient equals minus one so what we can say is it kind of flips some minuses so if the gradient here is two it flips over to become one over two and it changes the sign so any negative it's always going to be a negative and a positive. So if it's positive, the perpendicular is negative. If it's negative, the perpendicular will be positive. So let's say we had a gradient of a gradient of three, the perpendicular gradient. So if M1 is three, the perpendicular gradient is minus one over three. If we had um, an original gradient of a quarter, say minus a quarter, the perpendicular gradient would be a positive four. So these are always going to multiply to give minus one. So we flip a minus the gradient to find the perpendicular gradient. We know the gradient y equals mx plus c is m. So m is the gradient. So three is the gradient of this line, a gradient with a line parallel to it. So parallel, same gradient. Parallel means same gradient, so M for any parallel line is also 3. A perpendicular gradient, so it's going to have to multiply to give minus 1, so we flip a minus, flip a minus. So flip goes to a third, a minus, minus a third. Here we've got the original gradient of minus a half. Minus a half is the original gradient. So any parallel line is also going to have the gradient minus a half. But for a perpendicular line, perpendicular, we have to flip a minus. So flip to become two, and it's already minus, so it becomes a plus. It's plus two. Plus two times minus a half is minus one. Minus a third times three is minus one. So that's the rule for perpendicular gradient. We flip a minus. Parallel is the same. What is the equation on the line parallel to 2x plus 3? Y equals 2x plus 3. That passes through 2, 1. So here we've got to get the information we need out. And that's the gradient. So parallel means same gradient. That means m is 2. So if we find in the equation of a line, that's from y equals mx plus c. So we sub in what we know, substitute in 2. So y equals 2x plus c. 
Now we need to find C, and that's where we use this information. So X and Y, we can substitute them in to find C. So Y is 1 and X is 2. So 1 equals 4 plus C, C is minus 3. So the equation is Y equals 2X minus 3. Okay, line perpendicular to 2x, y equals 2x plus 3. The gradient, we have to flip a minus. So flip a minus. So the gradient is minus a half. So we've got y is equal to minus a half x plus c. And we can substitute in these x and y again. So 1 equals minus a half times 2 plus c. 1 is equal to minus 1 plus c, c is 2. So y equals minus a half, x plus 2. Okay, see so if you can try these ones. So try and work out the equation of the line parallel and perpendicular to y equals minus 2x minus 3. It goes through 2, 1. Okay, so we know that the gradient of a parallel line is the same. So m is going to be minus 2. So we're going to have y is minus 2x plus c, and we're going to substitute in x and y. So 1 equals minus 2 times 2 plus c. 1 is minus 4 plus c. c is 5. So y is minus 2x plus 5. Okay, the gradient of a perpendicular line, we're going to flip a minus. So flip to make it half, because if we had if we wrote 2 as a fraction, it would be 2 over 1. So flipped over is 1 over 2, and it's already a minus, so it becomes a plus. So the gradient is a half. Y equals half x plus c. Substituting our x and y. So 1 is half times 2 plus c. 1 is 1 plus c, c is 0. So now we've got y equals half x. There is no c. There is no, the y intercepts at 0. It goes through 0, 0.